What is going on everybody? It is E-Rock here bringing you guys a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Today's video is absolutely huge for Apex Legends and the future of this game. Guys, if you are enjoying the content, subscribe to the channel. Leave likes on the videos. You know, helps the channel grow, helps me out, helps you out. Uh, I don't know how it helps you out. But anyway, um, the Twitch, Twitter links if you're interested in that stuff as well. Description box down below. So, cross play has been announced for PS4, Xbox One, and PC moving forward into the fall on their little on their little like graph or diagram thing here on this picture. It also shows Nintendo Switch confirmed to be coming. This is absolutely insane. During EA Play's event, Respawn Entertainment has confirmed what has been the source of a rampant speculation in the months since Call of Duty Warzone proved crossplay could be effective for Battle Royale titles. Apex Legends players will soon be able to compete with their friends across consoles and PC. As of yet, there's no specific date was mentioned, but fans have been told to expect debut of crossplay sometime this fall. The announcement came alongside a bevy of others, including that the high mobility BR title will also be coming to Nintendo Switch, which suggests a high probability that the title could find itself distinguished enough even further from Warzone being across four platinums platforms instead of three. Well, again, we still don't know full details just yet. This is just a hype announcement since it ensures a greater breadth of competition and shorter queue times for people who are having trouble finding matches at higher ranks, which is something that I struggle with a lot uh, at this time of the game. <laughs> like, if I want to play early in the day, I have to switch my servers to somewhere in Europe to be able to play, and I'm in the United States to be able to find matches within like a minute or two. If not, I'm sitting there for at least five, 10 minutes. So this is definitely huge. It's gonna help the game. It's gonna help grow. It's gonna help expand to more player bases too. This announcement also coincides with the debut of a season five Lost Treasures collection event that has some ridiculous skins and cosmetics alongside a new treasures limited time mode. And as fans have wondered about for the past few weeks, the Crypto Town Takeover. Other Battle Royale titles like Fortnite and Warzone have had their fair share of issues with crossplay, with PC players bemoaning aim assist and console players constantly accusing mouse and keyboard flicks proving to be hacks. Um, at the moment, those concerns aren't pressing for Respawn Entertainment. The developers seem content with Season 5, which has been reported to be Apex Legends' most successful season yet. So everyone that's saying the game's dead, uh, most successful season yet. Uh, okay. Also, 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 it was announced that Apex Legends will be coming to Steam, giving millions of PC users who may have been reluctant to obtain the game through EA's original or origin game store. This is a tremendous play for a continually upsurging title in a crowded space, as broadened access to the game will be pivotal for its assets amongst a casual base and as an esport. With a new mode, new access, and new esports ventures like the $500,000 Apex Legends Global Series Summer Circuit, EA's free-to-play battle royale should be dropping in hot well into fall 2020 when its players from different systems will finally be able to match up. Now, my own personal opinions on all of this, as far as crossplay, I can't wait for this. I do not have an issue with this whole aim assist debate, mouse and keyboard debate. I started off on Call of Duty uh, like years, years ago, so I'm completely used to controller. I've played H1Z1, PUBG, Fortnite. I've played all those games on mouse and keyboard. Um, so like I I feel like I have a good grasp on both but now I play Apex Legends on controller on PC so I'm getting a little bit of both as it is right now so I have no issues with this whatsoever I, I can't stand the debate between aim assist and all that other BS but this is gonna help c grow the community even more it's gonna help like load times and everything it's it seriously will help the only thing I 
think they need to adjust is skill-based matchmaking a little bit. If they can at least like lower it down or however they can make it so like a more casual base is in each lobby as well. So it's not like you're playing in the Olympics each game, I think is going to be, I, I personally think it's going to be great for the game. Adding it to the Switch, again, it can only be good things. Adding it to another console, again, extending the player base out even more. I don't think there's any issues with that. And also, like I said, adding it to Steam. Yes, the game has been out for over a year and everything, but it was only on the Origin launcher. Now having it on Steam as well, it's going to um, broaden the, the player base over there that might not even know what Origin was. Some people might not even know who, what Apex Legends was. I know it sounds crazy, but like some people don't know. But if it goes on to Steam and see, people see ads for it, people see the, a new hot game being downloaded on that launcher, it's going to get more eyes. It can only help the, the player base and help the game grow. And they're looking for the future. And I, I can't say anything but positive things about that. So those are my own thoughts. Would love to hear what you guys have to say. Leave all that stuff in the comment section down below. I'll be reading it, trying to respond to whatever I can. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, this is huge for Apex Legends. Subscribe, leave likes. It really helps me out. And you guys have been absolutely, completely like supportive of everything lately. And I can't, I'm so thankful for that. So thank you guys for the support. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one.